Hey, okay, back for video number two. In the first video for Ode to Joy, we did the first two lines of the melody. Um, we are going to review all those fingers again and play that, and then we will add the third and fourth line, completing our full melody. So if you could, please get your recorders ready. Remember, your left hand is on top. We use feather air, and we use a D articulation. So no who's when you're playing, please. So we started on B, 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 C, D, D, C, B, A, G, A, B, A, A, B, B, C, D, D, C, B, A, G, A, B, A, G, G. It's the first two lines. If you did video number one, then you already know it. Play it with me, please. So that is line one and line two. On the next line, the melody takes a slight deviation from its form, and I'm going to show you those notes. I'm just going to play it for you. So this is where our low D comes in. Okay, all the other fingers are A, B's, and C's, but this low D. Notice I have my thumb down, and it's one, two, three, and my right hand finally gets a job to do, and it's going to play those bottom three. Now be careful on this one because we know there's two small holes here. The finger has to cover both of them, okay? So low D, say this is my low D, and we're going to try and play a low D nice and soft. you got to keep the air really soft, and you got to have Tupperware seals or it will not come out. And it happens really quick in the melody. It's one quarter note. Okay. Can you please play G to D? Play A to D. B to D. So now we're getting used to putting more than one or two fingers down. And that's the key because these three fingers should work as almost like a machine going down together. You see how very regimented and they work together at the same time. Because if you don't put them down at the same time, Then you get a, a ripple effect, but you want them to go down at the same time. Okay, so take some time, and if you ever get condensation in your instrument, you always want to put your mouth here and blow out, put a hand here so it doesn't go everywhere, and blow the condensation out. And it just builds up as you play because you're using warm feather air. So let's go through that third line of the melody. A, A, B, G. A, A, B, G. Pretty simple so far. Do that one more time. A, A, B, G. Here's where the switch comes in. A, B, C, B, G. A, B, C, B, G. And once again, these fingers are moving as a unit. They're not going down one at a time. They're going down in a unit. B to G. Okay? B, G. A, B, C, B, G. Now, we talked in the first video about that B to C and how we need to really make the fingers move very quickly to cover the holes. Because if not, you get more of a slurred kind of sound. And you want it to be very crisp. Okay, so go back to the beginning. So let's say those those again. A, A, B, G, A, B, C, B, G. Right? A, A, B, G, A, B, C, B, G. Let's play it. Next part, A, B, C, B, A, G, A, D, 
A G A D. That's when all those fingers have to go. On. A G A D. A G A D. Notice my ring finger, my pointer, middle, and ring finger all go down together. Because if you don't, you get a slur or you get like a ripple. Okay? If it doesn't come out, then you probably didn't have your fingers seated correctly, okay? Be ready. Always remember, don't use the tip of your finger. I see this quite often. Don't use the tip. Use the flat part right here. And I always think about holding a soda can, how it's a rounded shape, okay? If I'm holding a bottle, okay, and I'm holding a bottle, then my hand is naturally curved, okay, to hold that bottle. So when you go to hold your recorder, it's just a smaller version of that. I still have this round feeling in my hand, okay? So don't think you have to have it flat, because that's not the shape. You don't want tension in your hand. So when you go to that D, don't squeeze so hard that you get that tension. Just make sure they seal, okay? A, G, A, D. A, G, A, D. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to play the whole third line, okay? This is probably the most difficult line of the melody just because of the addition of the low D and you have the switch between B to C, okay? So this is line number three of Ode to Joy. Let's play it one more time. I'm going to turn so you can see my fingers well. Then the fourth line is exactly the same as line two. So now we have completed all the lines for Ode to Joy. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to play through the song about two to three times just so you can have some practice playing the whole entire melody. Okay? So here we go. Ready? So that's the melody. Now, please notice that line one, two, and four are very similar. It's just the ending part. And line two and four are exact copies of each other. Okay, let's do it one more time before I let you practice on your own. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you go back and review it and practice, practice, practice.